This is Guy Sporting Network. What, what? Walking here to East Baltimore and for Office of Curly. Record at one and four right now. And on one in a big conference. A huge matchup for them against Chapel Gate, which has gotten red hot. That's the last scene of the middle of her. They're out of the record at seven and two now and one and oh, beating Annapolis Area Christian. And that beat conference over. Three ball to start off. That one missed there from all. Williams with the board and he brings it up.
back, no good. Nice rebound there by Kroger for Bishop Curley. gets the ball back to try to take the lead for the first time in this one. Awesome! Alright, so far these two B conference foes. Nablus Eric Christian back in the B conference again. Along with Chris Trout. St. Paul's is really look strong. We got to view them against Loya. They gave the Don Fitz in that matchup. St. Mary's a factor as well. Is up one. That one tipped and missed out of bounds. Father Julian Gymnasium back to be here. Second beat conference championship for Curly and won the other one in 2001. All the way to the hoop. Two for two. Here's the senior lead. Two shot foul coming up as Curly's up one right now. Two out to 11 and which we'll get is in Howard County, Howard County Public School. And suspended all athletics until January 15th. They will go back and do it again on January the 7th. See where things stand then, but of course, as you probably heard, Dunbar. Reason why we will not be coming at you with the showcase at Patterson. That second shot goes. Points as we're taking the Wednesday and then Thursday at virtual classes. Three ball on powder hits it. Back to a one point lead here for Chapel Gate Christian. Friends at Broadneck, yeah, we're looking to try to do a little Rose Rock Broadneck. We matched the 2019 4A championship game. The Comcast. Right? Right, we'll see Broadneck and ourselves in the twin bell next week. If we do not have that matchup, we have added on now. Thanks to you folks out there, we will be doing Mount St. Joe St. Francis 1. And that game will debut on Christmas Day here on DSN. So we will have that matchup for you. One of two there. 15-14 lead. Actually, we're trying to hand over for you for Christmas Eve. Conference game here. He's in the A Conference slash BCL with St. Francis and Lori yesterday. We think you all for your support of that one. Inside, shot clock running down. Deep three. Off the backboard, no good. The prize with the board, up one. to Felder from Melbourne. Long pass over. Close out the defense there by Curley. Swings it back. Three ball. Yes! Right! With the right shot to tie this game at 17. When we come to Curley, we usually see some good ones. And I feel like we got another one on our hands here. Throws it over. Three. 
three. In and out. Pass back. No. Another pass, but brought it up. The foul. Blocking foul. Against Sample Gates. That should be that 13 foul. Tied at 17 all here. As we come at you. by Williams, that one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound. Not there there for Kissinger. He tried to put it back, he could Shot clock is off. 12, 11, 10, three ball. Tipped and missed. Offensive rebound back over Felder. He's swinging in the corner, that's a three. Off the backboard. One more shot. Back, would have went if it would have went in. Double time for Capricate to take the lead to end the corner, he was not able to. After one, though, we're tied at 17 here between Auspice of Curley, the defending MIAB Conference champion, and Chapel Gate Christian trying to get the Curleys out in the second quarter of this one coming up. Quarter here on the way in East Baltimore. Bill St. Clair Lane. Plus Bishop Curley. Here in Travel Gate. They tied at 17 in this DMV High School Basketball Showcase game. Jackets of Chapel Gate Christian Academy. And thank you so much for checking us out here on the Dines Line Network. Check us out on our email. If you got any questions, donstevie22 at gmail.com. Also, if you have a donation, I'll uh, take info you want. A donation, of course. Our uh, cash app is Dines Sporting Network. Right here on the Twitter at Dines Sporting Network. And uh, Instagram and Facebook page, Dice Winning Network, right here on YouTube. I'll tell you, you folks are just pushing the, the envelope right now. And we thank you all for it. We are over 1,510 plus subscribers. It's just racking up by the day. We thank you all so much. High school action is here in the DMV area. Home to the best action. High school hoops. Steps 
steps back, shoots a contested three and attempts to miss. Back over to Temple Gate. Aubrey have it. Long pass picked off. One nothing. Three on one pass like this. on DSN, right for the holidays. So we'll start with Mount St. Joe's and also Bishop Spalding, Cam Whitmore, Alan Hansberry, and Byron Tucker should make his try for return. That should be a good one. We'll have it for you. Be on DSN next week. As right now, doing this one, we're tied at 22. Dips it. Inside. The big fella, taking this thing. Putting on his best angle. One then, that's Curly looking to retake the lead. Three ball for Smith. Tip the miss. Tap back. Offensive rebound there by Countryman and a fresh shot clock. Pocket 14. One then, swings it back. Smith for the lead. Off the back, no good. One then with the offensive board. Tips it over. Countryman. Load up. Foul. That's a 16 foul. 16 foul against Hamblegate. Now the one on one might be in effect in this one. Four fifty two hit left in the first half and a 24-22 lead here for Archbishop Curley. Oh yes indeed. We're done with it. Justin there. Goes to Coles. Plays it in. Matthew Anahan, I believe, but that one will be tied at 24. Yes, indeed. Well, then. Escapes the dribble. Slow there. Yeah. Got a little bounce to go. Two point game. The big fella, yeah. Jimmy Oswald a junior. With that one. We're tied again at 26. Back and forth from deep three by Woodland. Hits it. That's all four from deep. Lee back up to three for Curly. Open back. Tip the net. Up, up, up. Tucker had to adjust again. Here, but the one and one is in effect. Here for Curl. <laughs> First shot here. Thirty twenty six game. Biggest lead was five. Here by. Shamble gate here to start the second court. Now Curly, this free throw can get hit. We'll be up five. And got it. 31, 26. Crowder. Swings it back out. Swings it over, Melbourne. Back inside for the big fella. Inside! Missed it out. Stays with 
Coach Applegate. Job here with this squad. Side to lay a throw. And then. With that one. 21, 28. Deep three. Hit the miss. Find it. Somehow. Mulberry got it. See them against the City at the Mayor's Academy at Morgan. here in the first half. Yeah. 
throw free throw. Crowder at the line. He can tie this game with two free throws here. First shot. Yes. Robertson. In the contest now. They went a little smaller here. 2.6 left. One good dribble and then a shot got to go off. Second shot. We are tied at 34. Two, one, Woodland! No! That's what that was. So at halftime, we still made it at 34. Both teams going 17 each in the both quarters in the second half. Now this DMV High School Basketball Showcase game coming up here on DSL. Second half here underway in Archbishop Curley and Chapelgate Christian Time 34. Big time, big conference matchup in the MIA. Chapelgate on a five game winning streak here. Inside, shot clock running down, but he ended up turning it over. Oh, this hit. Tana was passing the ball, it got tapped. So the clock will reset at 20. Shot clock going down a little bit farther. Should be nine. Nine seconds on that shot clock. Inside. Bounce pass, corner three, yes! <laughs> Portland gives the Yellow Jackets a three-point lead. <laughs> nice layup goes in. Lee went for two instead of one and got rewarded to cut the lead to one. In late December, the BTLR's JV Showcase. JV team will be in the building here, Carol. That's a three, take the miss. Back Tom Smith. Left him. Curly, back up by one. For the junior, Timmy Ascarano. First shot, and out. Little Flanco action. Back. 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 
side, double. Manic, back over, swings it. Copeland for the lead. Tip the mess. Six minutes here left in the third. Lee swings it. Three ball from Ketcherman. Front and miss. Board there. And a reach in. First team foul against Temple. We'll get here in the second half. Do you want to hear left? Time out. My Chapel Gate. Just got to sell things down. And... Well, first again, Friday Hill DSM, one of the best public school rivalries here in the Dean area, like Clifton and Emerson, and over the last couple of years, the winner usually helps punch their ticket into the Baltimore City Championship game. <coughs> Jimmy. That should be a good one indeed. We're on DSN Friday. Me and Terry Clark be back together to bring you that one. And then we'll start next week with a bang with Mount St. Joe's and Auspicious Spalding on a seven. Huge week for the gals. They get them in St. Francis. We'll have both games for you here on DSN. Key possession here. For, for Curly. Long pass there. Deep three in the corner and lost it out. They say Curly will be taking possession there. The ball's all out of bounds and Smith trying to rebound it. was tapped out by one of the yellow jackets at the shot clock at 20. Changes in private ball this year. So we set to 20 instead of going right back to 30. Drive, float over. No. Got it back to fight. Williams to Smith. Back over the lead. Williams fakes it. Somebody got to put it up. Four, three, two. One smell from deep! No! Rebound there by Chapel Gate. They can take the lead with a throw. Felder! Swings it over to Melbury. Copeland swings it again. Inside. The big fella. Touches the power of the game up here. Oh! Timmy Anderson. We're tied at 40. Entertained one off the foot. Wow. I just knew that call, right? That should be that should be on. Wow, he's gonna catch a break there. Drive inside. Win it. As a curly fans like that. Down there with the floater. Fins out. Close it back. Back over. Swings it. Gash. Smith. Yes. Lead up to four now. Curly. Right near the halfway mark here. Left in the third. Up four is Marbury. Swings it. Inside. Tough angle. Good point. Get the right bucket to go in. 4 42. Possession game. It's been a tight one throughout. Inside back. Three ball. Tip the miss. Offensive rebound. Yes. Lee ready to go and back up the fours to Lee. Drive, swings it. Crowder takes it right to the long one. Three ball deep. Three. Tipped and missed. Defense 
rebound there by Fado. Here comes Trapplegate. They can take the lead with a, with a field goal. Swings it right for the lead. Games mean a lot. The St. Mary's and St. Paul's looking along with Chapel Gate and Curly here. But Curly's a huge one. As they do not want to go to 0 and 2 in conference play. seconds on the shot clock. Should be 20 seconds on the shot clock. And we got it there. And we're going to be seeing play. Left back over. Gets it off the hands of Krishner. Woodland, that was short. Reaching against Curly. That's their second team. Play. Here in the DSN catalog right now. She got game. Her combo match up from there. Top ranked teams in the country. Duking it out. Check that out. Of 
Sports tomorrow. We'll be bringing you the highlights from the Baltimore Touchdown Club All-Star Game from last weekend. Thank you to our man Hugh Scott for that. Appreciate it. That'll be coming your way noon tomorrow here on you guys. So we'll be back with you Saturday with Lake Clifton and Epperson here on the Dice Play Network. That's the game action. 126 left here in the third. to the big 
falar. Só vou...
Quintana, 63. Shot clock at 21. Long pass inside the big ball. We have played better than us tonight. It is a one point game here for Chapel Gate. 146 left. Back and forth we go. the senior. It's a 69-64. Second shot here from Fowler to try to make this a six-point game. He got Teens is in the one and one. Two shots here for Woodland. He's using that to shooting. 
These are huge ones here for the sophomore. Coming back with the finish coming up. Folks had some technical difficulties there, but we're back here now. 15.6 left, 73. That one missed there. They have no choice but the foul. Jump ball. Ball stays with Curly. That's the good news. 73 66 is game here. Couple fouls. Now with a six game winning streak. Maybe eight and two here on the season. Second shot here. That's gonna do it. Long pass. Good night. Double eight wins it by nine. Seventy-four wins. Sixty-six. It's your final. Double eight for the vote. Eighty-five. Oh, Mr. Curl is gonna drop the one. Going to eight and two now, huge for them. They can keep pace with St. Paul's because they're two and zero now in the big conference. Why don't we say so long to you? Here on the dice lane, now we're like, so we do apologize. The latter stage of this one having a little technical difficulty, but we will see you at Patterson. We're supposed to do that game tomorrow. We'll see you at Emerson in the village. Bye, Mr. L.A. Clifton, with me and Terry Clark calling that one until then. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network.